Hey, what's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can make a, a stock chart in Excel using data that is from is pulled from stock history function. So the stock history function in Excel is just basically a function in Excel that allows you to pull in historical stock data for publicly traded stocks. So here we have this example right here. We're using the stock history function to pull in data for the ticker Apple. Um, to kind of show you how that works a little bit, so equals stock history. With the type open parentheses to start the function. The first argument is the stock, which is just going to be the ticker of the, what the stock you want to pull the historical data for. So in this instance, we want Apple. The start date is the first date that we want for our data. So let's just say we want, I just like to be soft today personally. So today, let's do today minus 20. And then next argument is the end date, which I like to have as today. Interval. Interval is going to be the frequency that you want the data in. So 0 for daily data, 1 for weekly data, and 2 for monthly data. Um, for this example, I want to go ahead and just have data that is in daily frequency. So we want, so typing 0 for daily headers. So headers was kind of what do you want the um, headers to look like to kind of show you what each of the headers look like. So 0 is just no header. As you can see, um, it doesn't have any header at all. Now, one is going to be the header we see on the left. So it just defaults to give you the date and the close without any additional arguments. Two, and then two is a full header. So it shows the ticker and is the date and the close. Um, let's just keep it as one for this example. And then the next is where you can pull in different pieces of data. So you can, for zero, we want the date. Let's just say you want to recreate what we have on the left. So for open, we want to type a two. And then for high, we want to type a three. For low, we want to type a four. And then for close, we want to type a one. Um, and then basically each number corresponds to each piece of data. So, and here we have on the right, we have recreated the data that we have on the left. Um, and this is going to come, and the way that you sort this data, it becomes very important whenever you go ahead to actually make the chart, because different stock, um, different charts, I have different requirements for how the data is organized. So to kind of show you what I mean, you're going to highlight this data and then go go to the insert tab, go to this little arrow right here, and then click all charts. We're here we're going to go and then click stock charts. And as you can see, there are four different variations of the stock chart. High cl low close, open high low close, volume high low close, and volume open high low close. And one thing to note is that each chart has different requirements for how the data is organized. So for example, it's not going to let us create the high-low close chart. Why? Well, because it has to be arranged um, in, in the order of high price, low price, closing price, and that data. Here we have open high, not high low. So but here we can have an open high-low close price chart or a volume high-low close, which probably wouldn't come across right because you don't have volume data in here. And this last one, um, again, is as you can see, volume traded, opening price, high price, low price, closing price, uh, and use dates for or stock names as labels. So let's click on this chart right here. Click on that chart, click OK. Now here you can see we have just a basic stock chart. Um, but one thing to note too is that this might look a little bit kind of off if from what we're expecting. So I'm going to format this a bit. Um, one thing, I'm going to adjust the range a bit. So for my axis, this is something to be careful with, especially with stocks, because if the stock just dives, no, no dives or spikes, then, um, you know, if you have a date range that's not automatic, it can throw it off a little bit. So we're going to, but for this pre-example, we're going to up this a little bit to zoom in on the chart. Let's just say from 140 to 145. Click OK. As you can see, it is showing this better. One thing to note too is that there is these gaps. Well, where are there these gaps? Well, that's because the axis right here um, is including the weekends, but the data that we are using in this chart does not have the weekends because the stock history chart um, only shows data that's there and the stock only um, trades on the weekdays. So like as you can see, um, February 10th and February 13th, 11th and the 12th were the weekends, but right here there's a gap in the 11th and the 12th um, because it just assumed there's a weekend. But we, this is very easy to change to where it doesn't show the weekend. So we can right click on the axis, click format axis, and then we can make it from an automatic axis to a text axis. And then, now, it should be adjusting. There you go. There, there, there it adjusted, and as you can see, 
now this doesn't um, include the, the it doesn't include the weekends in the chart. So here we we can go ahead and adjust the colors of the chart because I'm sure we're all used to seeing you know green for up and and and, uh, and red for down, right? So as you can see, um, as you can see, the white is going up and the dark black is, black is going down. So to do this, we can change the fill. I like to zoom in on this just because if you're zoomed out, it's very easy to click the wrong thing. Um, we want to click the right thing, right? So we want to click the box. So click on that, right click, click on the fill, click on a nice green color for fill. Then for the black ones, again, it's easy to click on the wrong thing. Um, right click, click fill, click red. That didn't stick. Click fill, click red. And as you can see, now we have green for what's going up and then red for what's going down. And the beautiful thing is that because we use the stock history function, this is going to change. It's a date change, right? Um, so for one thing, it's very easy to change the date. So let's just say you wanted to get something between 40 days ago and 20 days ago. We can just do um, today minus 40 or today minus 20. And just kind of show you how um, easy it is to change. And as you can see, um, the axis isn't automatic so that um, throws it off a little bit. Reset. Yeah, so there you have it. We Now we have just a basic stock chart in Excel that has um, green for going up and then red for going down. Um, that said, I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.